Close your eyes and watch your breath. Each time you breathe in, remember to stay with the breath. Each time you breathe out, remember. We need to remember because the mind is so changeable. The Buddha said there's no analogy for how fast the mind is to change. It can change direction totally in just a split second. So once we're on a good path, we will have to remember this is the good path. Remind ourselves that we can motivate ourselves, too, to stay here. Think about the consequences of wandering astray, the giving in to greed, aversion, and delusion, and then the rewards of learning how to train the mind. If the mind were naturally good, it wouldn't need much training. If it were naturally bad, you couldn't train it at all. The thing is, the mind is changeable by nature. So we want to change it in a good direction and then keep it on a good direction. So right view is to get us in the right direction, and then right mindfulness is to remember that. And all the other skills of the path reinforce our desire to find a good direction in our lives. Because our lives aren't going in a direction willy-nilly. Sometimes the problem is that we go here and then we go there and wander around. Nothing much gets accomplished. And then we find ourselves going down a path that we didn't really want to begin with. And we certainly don't want when we see what the consequences are. So it's good to stop and take stock. What kind of life do you want? As the Buddha says, human beings can put an end to suffering. That's one of the possibilities that's open to us. If you decide that that's a good possibility, you want to explore it, well, remember that. As the mind begins to wander someplace else, remind yourself that you only have so much time. Life is short, even if you live for a hundred years. By the time the hundred years have passed, you don't know where they are. They're gone. So we don't have the time to try out all kinds of different paths. We want to choose a good path and then stick with it. As the Buddha calls this a self that's well-directed or rightly directed. Because after all, the direction you give your life is something you give to it. It's Other people may push you here or there. But we all have the ability to say, stop and say, no, if it's going in the wrong direction. We can put up some resistance to the, the bad influences from outside, and we can bet resistance to the bad influences inside, try to encourage the good influences. So if the mind changes, it changes even better and better and better. So try to strengthen your mindfulness. Each time you breathe in, you remind yourself to stay here. When you find yourself wandering off, and you remind yourself to come back. That's strengthening mindfulness. Then ardency follows through. And that way we get to get on the right path and stay on the right path, keep ourselves on the right path, because it's a path we know is going to be good for us.